All right, guys and gals, I want to teach you about a very simple, very cool little plant you can grow. And this is one of the good aquatic plants to know about because I'm not aware of anywhere in the United States, anywhere where this plant is considered an invasive species in the Department of Making Sack Causes Problems. And it really is kind of a miracle plant. If you look at it going, is that duckweed? No. And if you look at the size of my hand compared to the size of the plant, that'd be awful big for duckweed. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like something maybe you'd recognize if it was growing a lot larger in a pot on like a back porch or, you know, in some pine forest in South Carolina or Florida or something. It looks kind of like a fern. That's because it's a fern. It's known as a zola. It is an aquatic free floating plant, meaning that those roots, those little roots coming off of there, they don't root into the ground. They don't really get any bigger than that. But you can see there's more of them than maybe you would have thought there were. And like many little plants in the legume family, it's not only legumes that do this, this plant has the ability to fix nitrogen out of the air and use it. So it can grow in aquatic systems that don't have a tremendous amount of nutrient. Not that it doesn't like a tremendous amount of nutrient, it just can. Now, the one thing I've learned about this plant in the years of growing it and realizing like at the beginning, this is so easy to grow. When it gets really, really hot, it turns black and it goes away and somehow little bits of it survive in a system and tend to come back usually. Um, but it doesn't like to be too hot, too baked in the sun. So if you wanna put this into a system where you know it's probably gonna make it through your season, then what you do is you need to find a place where it gets sun till about two or three o'clock because it likes sun. And about that time, the sun goes on the other side of a tree, a structure, something, a fence, whatever, and it gets shade for the rest of the day and it'll have a much better time of getting through. Uh, lots of critters will eat it. So if you have koi, you're not gonna grow a lot of it in a pond with koi because they will munch on it. Ducks and chickens and, and gooses and things like that will also eat it. It doesn't grow near into the weight capacity of, you know, like for feedstock that things like water hyacinth do. So it's only like an adjunctive feed, but where it excels, it fixes nitrogen. Right now, there's a fertilizer shortage. Why? Because there's a urea shortage. Why? Because we're stupid with our foreign policy and we were dumb and most of our urea today comes from Russia and we have sanctions, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Doesn't matter what you think about the whole situation. There's a fertilizer shortage. There's fertilizer growing in water for free and about every 48 hours, I'm trying to get one of them here, right? In 48 hours, that guy will completely replicate himself. Not every 24 like duckweed can in optimum situations. In fact, you can see he's doing it right now. See his little little sister plant right there? See that little line coming over? See, he's making a new version of himself and dividing right there. All right, so that's, that's what this plant does. It just keeps replicating and replicating and replicating as long as you get some nutrient from the water. And all you do is you just take this stuff and mulch around your plants with it. And you have a constant source of high nitrogen mulch. You don't have to compost it. You don't have to do anything with it. You can feed it to your fish. You can feed it to your livestock. But the important thing is it puts a cover on your aquatic system. Now, you'll notice even though this is an aquatic system that literally has duck crap dumped into it on purpose because there's a pipe over there that brings it into that main pond and it circulates through all these tanks. And then this tank is the top tank and this line of tanks and it circulates through here. Even though, I mean, I just dumped a tank, 50 gallon tank of duck poo in it. You see how clear it is? But it can become somewhat ridden with algae, especially later in the year when you get a lot of sun on it. But when you have this covering the top of your water and it's using up all the sunlight and you're not getting a lot of UV below the surface, it's gonna help control algae, especially green water algae, the single celled algae that floats in the water column that you can't filter out because it's one cell per one critter so there's too small to filter out if you did develop a filter to filter out it would clog up from everything else so it helps with that it helps with string algae as well because it prevents the light from getting to the string algae and it takes up excess nutrient because it like it will make nitrogen but if it doesn't have to it doesn't want to do the effort so it will take up nitrogen, make whatever the, 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 the spread is and what it needs versus what it gets. So it keeps your water clean. It keeps your water cool. Shaded water stays cooler. So it doesn't like to be too hot, but it, it likes some sun. 
Well, if you have this completely over the surface of your water, your water stays nice and cool. Your fish do better, your plants do better, you have more oxygen in your system. So I just posted a picture and I figured maybe I should actually provide the education, go with it. And I said, if you don't know what this plan is, you should learn because it may become increasingly important in the future. So a plant that you can feed your livestock, like my little chickens hanging out over there, and will help you grow other plants that you can grow, yeah, in a complicated system like this, but you can go out and spend like 12 bucks and buy a kiddie pool, maybe two of them, and one of them grow this and another one grows something like water hyacinth. Take one little aquarium pump and split it in two and put a couple air stones in it, put them in both sides, throw some mosquito fish in them, Fill them halfway, I'm talking about the big pools, right? Not the little bitty ones, the, the biggest kiddie pools they make. Fill them halfway with dirt, plant something in them like that right there. That's duck potato, we'll talk about that in the future. Okay, and instead of spending all kinds of coin and all kinds of labor and effort to do what I've done here, if you're not ready yet, you're not ready to do ebb and flow and flow through tanks and wicking beds and all that, you just wanna have fertilizer for your gardens and you wanna grow a, a, a very high caloric crop in the form of duck potato, couple pools and you do that and then you've got all of it in one. Now, as I said, this plant may become increasingly important in a future where the word food shortage is becoming a very, very common term. I will catch you guys later.